$57,000 a month on rent! You're <laughs> <laughs> too old to be doing that. Oh my god! I bet you're giving it to me! Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. Alright, welcome back to the night shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late, so are we starting to clock in? We got a little bit of a problem down here. We brought lunch, we brought back smoothies for everybody. <laughs> Right. Yo, we're out here, Dorado, Puerto Rico. We're at Logan's new pad. What is it? This is an Airbnb? Kind of. It's just like a house that was available for lease. It's massive. How many beds did you say are in it? There's 34 beds. Beds pull out of beds. Might be the only thing that pulls out in this house. <laughs> Can, like, I can make those jokes now. I used to not be able to. I'm not an employee anymore. Where are you going? Holy shit, bro. This is a huge upgrade from the last place. The last place was fucking ass. Look at this. All right, easy, easy. What is this horse? Dude, this dog is all over the place. Hey, buddy. I may think twice about moving down now. Wait till you see my new house. This isn't like the house you're buying. I bought a house, and it's being built right now. It's fucking sick. Sicker than this one. Yeah. Hey, who's this woman <laughs> working in a dark closet? Hi, Mike. Good to see you. <laughs> Maria. Hi, so good to see, you. Good to see you. Too. Do you love being in Puerto Rico? I love it. Yo, you bunk <laughs> up, bitch. That's good. Why are there so many beds? So many activities to be done. Bro, there's 34 beds. For what? For what? Thank God that Coachella FOMO is over. <laughs> it was fun, bro. I threw up on a model. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> Fifty-seven thousand dollars a month on rent. <laughs> I don't know if y'all are into reading, but this is a great, great piece of literature. So basically, this tree is super giving to this kid, but the boy grows up and becomes like super greedy, and then eventually the tree is just withered in an old stump, and he's an old man. The only thing the tree can offer him is a place to sit. Sounds like Mike. <laughs> <laughs> and now a word from our sponsors. Okay, so for my ninety. 3% male audience, listen up, this one is important. Have you ever worked your ass off for a girl just to get to the bedroom and realize that you don't exactly got the mojo that you need? Maybe you have a medical condition, maybe you have performance anxiety, maybe you had a little bit too much to drink and you have a bad case of whiskey dick. Whatever the reason, over 52% of men will experience erectile dysfunction at some point in their lifetime. Luckily, today's video is sponsored by Roman, the brand you guys know and love from their swipes, now offers ED tablets delivered directly to your door in discreet packaging. So when you go to getroman.com forward slash Mike, you get a free online evaluation from the comfort of your own home, meaning no awkward doctor's visits and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. The whole process is simple and straightforward and these bad boys will help you get ready for the big moment. So yeah, all you gotta do is head over to getroman.com forward slash Mike to get $15 off your first month of ED treatment plus free two day shipping. Click the link in the description and let's get back to the night shift, baby. <laughs> He's fucking massive. I have something to benefit you today. You may call me the giving tree. It's a present I got for you. It's a I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> it's my beautiful, beautiful wife? You want my wife's no. box? No, no, no. No, I'm not so sure that I want to give this to you. You have a girlfriend that you already <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Keep that one. Oh buddy. my god. <laughs> My mouth is wet. Pick a popular political figure. Any political figure in the world. Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> All right, so we're back out here in Dorado Beach right now. Me, Logan, and Nancy Pelosi. Crazy having her here with us, man. How do you keep connecting with all these long-term senators and uh, government officials? Powerful friends and powerful places, man. <laughs> <laughs> so I see you guys as the next biggest electronic musical just, duo. Okay, let me just pause you for a second. Wait, why the are you so offended? You no, want Jeff to be the guy. That's not why. You don't I, want to partner with me. Yes, I do, George. Everyone then on this Why don't we start a band together? Wait, it's not a band. Alec Monopoly's been trying to teach me how to be like a DJ. I love music. I DJed one of your house parties. How did it go? Be honest. It was amazing. Basically, what he's saying is I could be the next marshmallow. Yeah, Turn if that marshmallow is over a fire, getting <laughs> roasted. <laughs> what the fuck? It's like really intense. The camera, the hi. Like, okay. okay. <laughs> it's like okay. so close. Are you gonna give me tips on vlogging? Or you're gonna listen. Like, I, I never vlog in my life. Questions? I'm gonna okay. listen. Do you think that I have what oh, it takes to be a world-renowned DJ? Yeah, I do. It's more like a vibe. Like you have to have the confidence. You're more like the guys guy. Like you should be like you know like the send it guys or whatever. You know like. Are you talking about full send? <laughs> <laughs> no. Send Guys. Send it guys! What do you guys live on a deserted island? Please. I'm not moving here. Please, please, it's so boring here. We need more friends. I thought he was moving, we were happy. I'm not moving here, okay? I don't fuck with you guys and your weird island 
vibes. Just come back to LA at some point. LA sucks. I mean, Miami's better than LA. You We're know that. from Miami. Dude, LA shits on Miami. LA sucks. Tonight I'm playing the biggest DJ set of my life at Alec Monopoly's house. You can buy tickets. It's a rave. Drop in the comments below. Drop in the comments below. I got, I got people coming. I got people showing up. Give me one second. I got a whole crowd coming. My money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. I like to see it wiggle wiggle. Today is Cinco de Mayo in Los Angeles. We have a very robust group of Mexicans that live in this state and we're thankful for them. That has the absolutely nothing to do with today's episode. We're not doing anything. We're actually going to hang out with a bunch of white girls. The night shit channel's like popping right now. Why don't you think your channel's popping, Mike? Come on. My last video didn't have Lana in it. Well, but like you got a new traffic. Oh, new traffic. Oh yeah. my God, Long Road's baby. Wow. Shut up, David, all right? We fucking get it. But that's not the only reason. It's because we got fast-paced action and most importantly, very beautiful women. I believe that the 7% female audience, they're also the kind of girls that are also interested in hot women. Do you know what I'm saying? they're like girls. Yeah, they're like, you ever... Girls like, like girls, girls where I'm from. from. Oh, yeah. Where we're both from. <laughs> Look at this email I just got. Oh, fuck. What? What? Oh, I'm sorry. What? Oh, no detecto on gonorrhea. <laughs> What's good? <laughs> We're on this rooftop in downtown. Oh, wait. Well, this so originally, I thought it was going to be up there. Then we came here. It's like fucking second floor type shit. It's not even that it's cool. It's the yeah, sixth actually. floor. Did That's you hear the news? What? Mike has the media. No, no, But no. he doesn't. He doesn't. Oh, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> oh, good job. Yeah, good job. So That's okay. really good. So I asked my Twitter followers today. I said, what do you want to see more of on the night shift? And their answer was... More girls. More girls. <laughs> the women. One person commented under it and they said, you always have girls in the content, but we never get to know who they are. We want to know more about them. Do you like when guys have abs or dad bods? Dad bods. Working out, even if you have a dad bod, is important. Like, you know? Yeah, I mean, I don't like, know <laughs> much about the Fuck, Mary, kill. Logan Paul, Jake Paul, Greg Paul, the dad. Probably the dad. That's not a valid answer. I don't know. I don't Probably know. the dad. So I don't even know what the dad looks like, but I would say, fuck the dad, marry Logan, and kill yeah. Jake. <laughs> My girl's dating him. I'm sorry. That's what I did. So you're going to kill Julia Rose's husband because you're friends with her. <laughs> What's your biggest pet peeves on a guy? Like when a guy snores. Like it's literally a deal breaker for me. I don't know. Probably not being down to earth. Like even if you're doing well or whatever to like still have a soul, you know? So snoring, no soul. And then what's your answer? Nail biters. That's how you get sick and put bacteria into your mouth. Like <laughs> Just so you know, by the way, I don't have any bacteria inside okay. of me right now. If a guy slides in your DMs, what could they do to like get your attention? To like actually get me to answer? Yeah. Fuck. I don't know. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe we switch this up a little. Why don't you guys ask me some questions instead? What's your favorite color? <laughs> okay, yeah, we're done with this segment. It's uh, really good uh, visiting this rooftop. This entire episode, girls. Pool parties, the girls show up. The clubs, the girls show up. The dinners, the girls show up. They're always there. But when you want to do a burger review in Koreatown, in the middle of rush hour traffic on a Friday afternoon, not a single girl in sight. Girls with big boobies and big booties are fun, but when you need a girl to ride with you, you gotta lock down the right chick, bro. Not to bring it up, but you know, I had a girlfriend once and she never missed a burger of you, not one. No matter what time of day it was, no matter where in the world it was, she was always there for me, and I appreciate that. We'll have it again someday. Not, not, not me and her, but like me and someone else, I hope. Anyways, listen, we're at a place called Love Hour. Something of an enigma here in Los Angeles. You hear about it, but you never really see it because it's only open two nights, Friday night and Saturday night, for from 6 to 10 p.m., that's it. But show them really quick. It's this little tent in front of this building here in Koreatown. Very SoCal evening right now. The sun setting over the palm trees. So this is why I live in Los Angeles, by the way. A lot of people, why do you deal with the taxes and the homeless people and the crime? This is why. Anyways, listen. Oh. <gasps> oh. I'm like, I'm tearing up. Look, I have goosebumps, bro. Double patty, potato bun, three beautiful pickles, American cheese, and a ton of fucking sauce. Look at that, bro. I'm just gonna fucking go for it. You wanna go for it with me? Yeah, I'll probably do it. Yeah? Three, two, one. Gas. Gas. I don't, I don't know what that is. Do you taste it? Oh, the thickness of the American cheese on it. Once again, that upgraded Big Mac taste. It's so fucking wow. good, bro. The fries are like these, once again, these like shoestring. They look super crispy. 
they're phenomenal. This is gonna be fucking hard. And I am happy that no one's here with me because I really gotta think about this decision. I'm gonna say two days a week, six to 10 p.m. Koreatown, love hour. I'm gonna give it a 9.3, 9.3. What does that put it, like top four? It's absolutely fucking phenomenal. If you happen to be in Koreatown during that window of time, drop in. We are about to do a lot of fucking partying. Starting tomorrow, we're flying to F1 in Miami, then directly to New York City after that. Me, Logan, Jeff Wittick, a bunch of girls. It's gonna be absolutely fucking crazy and we're gonna get you guys a lot of that party footage that you guys have been asking for. But as far as this very strange episode of The Night Shift is concerned, thank you so much for working late with us. We're clocking out. Peace! I need some witty banter. I need some witty banter in a hurry. Look at that bite. Like, I'm, I'm jealous of myself. I'm jealous of myself that I get to take that exact bite right there. I love Mike. He's so funny and I love him. <laughs> funny? What about my business acumen? Fuck your business acumen and fuck your business. <laughs> and fuck you! <laughs> Bro, my mouth is wet. <laughs>